What's up, Muscle and Strength? Welcome to my home here in Texas. Just getting the day started. Let's go. Usually first thing in the morning is when I'm testing my blood sugar. Literally, this is every day of my life. You know, the blood sugar is essential for absorbing nutrients. My days are a little different than the average person. I'm used to it, but it still is, you know, an extra chore to wake up, test the blood sugar, correct the blood sugar if it's off. So it's not always about just waking up, eating, and, and getting on the go. You know, I, I'll, have, I'll be a little sluggish. I'll have a little bit less energy in the morning being a type one diabetic. And then now it's time to take these uh, dogs for a little walk. These help me get my mind off of the daily grind of, you know, trying to look a certain way, trying to compete and eat perfect every single day. I mean, to me, it's kind of a, it's almost a little like my little kids. When you're in bodybuilding or you're in the fitness industry, life can be so absorbed about the way you look, about the diet, about the workouts, about uh, everything fitness. So I gotta get my mind off that stuff. It was a dream of mine to have some, some American bullies that uh, come from a nice bloodline. So I searched high and low for a whole year to find like the specific look I wanted. Finally, I came across a buddy of mine in the NFL. His dog had some puppies. I went for one puppy and I came home with two. They're literally like my children. When I've been traveling internationally, people are like, where's Oak and Ivy? Where's Oak and Ivy? You know, they ask about Sheena. Where's Crunches and Cabernet? You know, start in the fitness industry. Next thing you know, your dogs are our household name. It's crazy. I do train over 150 people worldwide. Maybe uh, 60 of those people are type one diabetics. And so I keep it I keep it organized to a minimum. I only train and add on 15 new clients a week. Sometimes I'll be here 45 minutes getting stuff done. In my mind, I'm like, what's the point in stopping and just sitting on a desk when I can do everything right here? With social media, email, and technology nowadays, you really can stay organized and help people literally in every continent all around the world get amazing results. I would like to do uh, the build your own omelet. If I could do egg whites, and if they could add two extra egg whites to the omelet, freshly pulled chicken, onions, spinach, button mushrooms, bacon, um, and then um, I'm gonna do the French toast. Let me try. Let me try the banana bread French toast. And then also, just a couple more, if I could have two uh, poached eggs on the side. Yeah, I love food. I love, I love my sweets. I love the way different foods taste from all cultures and, and spices. I think in a balance in this industry, you'll last a lot longer. If you're the guy that's on stage that can enjoy your prep and you're literally not even struggling to stay on diet, I think you're gonna look better on stage. It's really cool having your supplement endorsement and a company that you really believe in right here in Dallas. ProSups is more than a brand. They have peanut butter cookie protein. That's, that's very important. It tastes amazing. JP. What's up, brother? You ready for Brazil? Yeah, excited, man. It's another country, another... Uh, Another continent. One important thing as an athlete is your support system. You know, it helps if you have the family to support you. Uh, it helps if you have a girlfriend to support you. But professionally, you need to have people with experience and people that, that are gonna lift you up and, and they want you to win Olympia. Because a lot of the countries are still a few years behind, there's still a lot of newbies. Or a few years ahead. Some are. Like a couple of those gyms in Dominican Republic. Third world country, we got batting cages in there. Yeah, they have a, a full-on resort and spa in a, you know, closed off national park with the scene around. So it just, it lets you know that right when you think we have everything the best here in America, get around the world. If you're, if you're lucky enough to travel, get out, see how other people are living the fitness lifestyle. When you get all your teams aligned and everyone has the same dream, the same goal, you know, big things happen. So uh, now we're heading to Doug's Gym, Dallas, Texas. This is one of the 
oldest gyms in the nation. It's actually the second oldest gym in the nation. So as far as respecting the classics, respecting you know fitness and bodybuilding, where it came from, many of the old pros back in the day that originally started bodybuilding, um, they worked out at this gym. Man, you're looking great. I haven't seen you in about, what, four months? Yeah. You're bigger than ever. I wanted to bring you guys to Doug's gym here because this is where classic bodybuilding started. There wasn't hype, there wasn't money involved, there wasn't endorsements, there wasn't all this fame that can come in that people chase so much. It was about sculpting your body because that was your art. Well, you know, I opened this gym up in 1962. As far as I know, this is probably the oldest gym in operation with one owner all that time. When I come to a gym like this, it reminds me of where things started. Just grabbing the old steel, doing these old traditional movements, it kind of reminds you, you've got to try new techniques, but don't forget you know, why we started bodybuilding in the first place. And that was just because it was a competition versus yourself. When I first started working out and after World War II, I was probably 17, John Grimmick was a big physique star. He had a magazine called Strength and Health. That was the Bible of working out. Everybody read that magazine. John Grimmick was on the cover all the time. He's the one that inspired most people. Then Steve Reeves came after him. Then he shot up, I guess, to Arnold. Then he become the next superstar. You want a physique that the, the public can look at that and kind of identify with it. But when you see a man five foot eight, just uh, weighs 300 pounds, my God, or close to it, you can't identify with that. Who's gonna look like that? I think right now the most important thing is literally just to enjoy what's going on one step at a time. But the most important thing to me is to show you guys that you know anything is attainable with that fitness passion. And, and this is all just stemmed from my dedication to diet, nutrition, and the gym. And um, you know I'm living my dream right now.